Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. This tutorial aims to look through our roller dice program created in Excel. We can see the finished product on screen at the moment. We just have one die, uh, but it is following the same steps. Very easy and very possible to create multiple dice. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. First of all, our dice covers nine cells as we can see here and then it shows the number six so only six cells are formatted as so but the first thing you would do if you were creating this program is select the required number of cells and perform the necessary formatting what we've got here is a wingdings font we use wingdings font because when you use the letter l in wingdings that is shown as a spot like we have on screen at the moment and we're using the 28 uh, point font size because that is as you can see or hopefully agree a good size for our spots so we've got a 28 size wingdings now say so the letter L produces these now to get the you know, to get the randomization of, of rolling a dice we have a formula or a function to be specific in cell A1 we have a random between function we can see asking it to create a random number between the numbers of 1 and 6. That cell has been hidden by formatting the cell. Uh, the, the font inside the cell was white, so we can't see the number. But it sits there quietly and does what it needs to do. Now normally that function will run every time you, you do something on your sheet. So it's when you move around or you click a command, that formula will run itself. However, on the formulas tab, and your calculation options button, calculations have been set to run manually. So instead of automatically running you know, continuously whenever required, which is normally the setting, normally what you want, we have chosen manual, so don't run until I tell you to run. Now to tell it to run, we have created a roll dice button. The button is created by using the developer tab and inserting a button from here which can then be just drawn onto your page. For the button to work, we have a simple little macro, and the macro's job is to calculate the sheet. So all we did is we recorded a macro, normally under your view tab, they come in and record in a macro as so, and all the macro does is it goes to the formulas tab, clicks this little calculate sheet button here to manually calculate the sheet, and then stops. Uh, we can see that macro, I'll we'll pop into view, click on the top half of macros, there it is, it's called roll dice, and if I was to edit it to see the VBA, that's all it does, it just calculates the sheet. You could quite easily just type this in if you're comfortable doing so in the Visual Basic editor. But recording a macro is a step that I took, and uh, we've got a nice simple little, little macro. The macro is then assigned to the buttons by right clicking choosing to assign the macro and deciding to use the roll dice macro on it. Finally, you know we've got a formula getting a random number, we've got a button that initiates that calculation and produces the random number. But last of all we need the dice to present that. That is done by formulas at the top here. A mixture of if and and or nested functions. So for example in cell D2 we've got if then we've got an AND. So if when you roll the dice, the random number is between 2 and 6, then put a letter I in that cell. And as we spoke about, the letter I produces a spot in the Windings font. So I'll only get a spot here if it's uh, 2 to 6. Uh, so if it's 2, the spots appear in D2 and F4. If it's 3, they appear there in the middle and in F4. If it's four numbers, they appear in the corners, don't they? And so on and so forth. So we know that that's always going to be there as long as it's not one, basically. So we've got the same thing down in the corner here. In the middle here, we've got slightly different ones. Only appear there if the number's six. No, the same applies to this one over here. In the corner, we've got only appear if the number is between four and six. So obviously two goes to these two, three goes across these three. So it's only going to appear if it's 4, 5 or 6. And finally in the middle, 
we've got only a pit there if the number is 1, 3 or 5. So we've got an OR function instead. Only it's 1, 3 or 5. At the moment it's 6 and there's nothing. But if we were to roll the dice, there's 1 and therefore we it shows and so on and so forth. This button is calculating the sheet, running the formula that sits in A1 that we cannot see. And the appropriate fonts are, are doing what they need to do. And that is a roll the dice program. Everything from the, the format of the cells, just to kind of recap, the formula in A1, the manual calculations, uh, the button which runs a macro that calculates the sheet, and then the actual formulas that show the required number of spots. Thank you for checking us out. For try and create your own, any problems, get in touch, and just check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergargard.com. See you soon.